Welcome back, gentlemen and ladies, to another GGTV in-depth Destiny PvP map guide video. I'm Gentleman Gamer, and this time we visit the city perimeter and the mountains of Russia for a comprehensive look at Frontier. If you're looking for more advanced tips like callouts or head glitches, you can find them by advancing to the times shown here. Frontier is a medium to large map that can be found in all PvP playlists. It's especially well suited to Rift mode and was likely designed with that game mode in mind. Get to the, rift. the map has also been featured in Trials of Osiris. The map has morning, noon, and evening variations with differences that are primarily aesthetic in nature, with the exception of the morning version which can see players experience some visual interference from the sun, especially when facing opposition on the lakeside rocks. The map is vaguely symmetrical, with the two spawns located in large structures that have been built on either side of an iron bridge that crosses over a small ravine. There are railway lines running through the map, dissecting it along the x-axis, and the small stream that cuts through the map vertically, creating a y-axis. The stream opens up into a picturesque lake that flanks the lower side of the map. Let's take a look at the callouts. First a note about the callouts seen in this video. Some available overhead maps of Frontier will use similar or duplicate names to refer to areas, despite the fact that the map is not entirely symmetrical in the way that Pantheon or Bannerfall is. I've renamed some of the callouts for clarity while trying to preserve the spirit of the initial nicknames whenever possible. The Alpha team spawns inside a railway or train cargo loading dock with the spawn point itself being at the mouth of railway tunnels that lead into the mountain behind the loading dock. A point can be found flanked by some cargo rail cars. This is also the location of the Alpha Rift spot. To the immediate right, going counterclockwise, you can find a small sewer access tunnel and an opening that both lead into the garage. In the garage, you can find the first of four special ammo crate spawns, located at the foot of a pallet stacked with bags of cement. Beyond the garage door you can find the semi-truck. Beyond that is a large boulder that has come to be known as Pride Rock. At the base of Pride Rock you can find the first of two heavy ammo spawns. Also the singular ammo spawn during games of elimination. Behind the heavy ammo spawn is another smaller boulder. For clarity we'll call it the Overlook or Sniper's Point. Past the ravine on the outside of the map is the blue tarped container or blue container. Making the turn inwards takes us to the cargo crane bay with a suspended open ended container that can be entered from both sides. The crane control room is to the immediate left of the crane area. Backtracking a bit towards the ravine there's a small concrete landing with access to the control room called tech room by some and the location of the second special ammo crate of four just by the door of the room. The control room and crane area lead directly to Bravo spawn, the location of C point, and the Bravo rift spawn. Bravo spawn is inside a large warehouse structure which doubles as a gondola lift or cable car station. Bungie has actually commented that the gondola line seen on Frontier is one end of the line that originates on the outskirts of the Twilight Gap map, suggesting that perhaps the building seen in the far distance on Frontier could in fact be the main structure of the other well-known Destiny map. Some like to call the docked cable car on Frontier the cage. Beyond the cage are a series of stacked containers in a large warehouse, then another smaller area with more cargo and the location of the third of four special ammo crates. Exiting the warehouse we find a small retaining wall and the creek once again and in a small bog surrounded by rocks and boulders the location of B point and the overtime capture point in elimination. B point and by extension the entire upper section of the map is in the shadow of a large water tower painted in the colors of the Russian flag presumably putting to rest any doubt that the last city on earth is located anywhere but in Russia. Up the hill at the base of one of the water tower support columns, 
Just across from the bridge's center opening, we find the second heavy ammo spawn. The upper end of the creek flows into a small waterfall that leads underneath the bridge, a spot well suited to camping or hiding while regaining health. Beyond the water tower is the entrance to the Alpha cargo hold and the final special ammo crate of four. Leading up the ramps to the rear of the cargo hold, we can find the last area before arriving at the start of our counterclockwise tour, the workshop, complete with a lathe and chemical tanks and some kind of 3D printer in the corner. To quickly recap, the Alpha side has the loading dock, the garage, the workshop, and the cargo hold. The Bravo side has the crane bay, the control room, the cage, and the warehouses. The center of the map is of course dominated by the bridge. The curve of the bridge creates a short side which features the bridge apron walkway and the long side which has a main opening that leads towards B point. A note worth making regarding the bridge, although the area above the bridge itself is considered out of bounds and will prompt a death countdown timer, you can still traverse it and potentially use it to launch unexpected aerial attacks, especially during heavy rounds. Hunters have the added advantage of being able to fall off the top of the bridge and using double or triple jump easily get back on, drastically extending the amount of time they can stay up there. You can find the spark spawn at the very center of the map on the bridge in rift mode. Speaking of rift mode, Frontier is a map that was seemingly built with rift mode in mind. There are multiple routes from spark spawn to rift points, several of them quite sneaky. However, there is one route that although risky in execution is really difficult to defend against. Guardians can actually navigate around the back of the crane bay wall through a series of trains and structures in a turnback zone. To my knowledge, only Titans with Twilight Garrison and Hunters with Bones of Eow can successfully run the route in time, with Titans having a bit easier time doing it. A note about control. Because B-Point is slightly favored towards the Bravo side of the map, it's often considered advantageous to hold C-Point whenever possible. Because B-Point can be difficult to capture, and because the map is longer than it is wider, flipping the spawns is definitely possible, and you will oftentimes see organized teams who are spawning on A-Point ignore B-Point in favor of taking control of C, C and thereby making B an easier target to take and hold later. There are some 55 gallon drums located on Frontier in various places that can be repositioned by running into them and bumping them around. They will absorb enemy fire. Frontier has lots of very long sight lines, which makes the map extremely well suited for sniper play, and there are many areas on the map that lend themselves especially well to head glitching. As a result of the many elevation changes, it's difficult to cover every spot in detail. But here are some of the best and most common head glitch spots and sniping lanes. Once again, beginning counterclockwise from Alpha Spawn, the loading dock wall is a good angle to watch the approach from the workshop door. So is standing on the tall tarp covered rail cars near A point. Note, from both spots you can utilize the Kemp tanks along the wall to help gauge and anticipate head level. In the garage, some players will utilize the pallet of cement bags near the special to head glitch out towards Pride Rock and the heavy spawn. There are some rocky outcroppings with weeds and grass that make good vantages into the garage. Incidentally, you can find the map specific ghost when loaded in private match mode. It's in a grassy nook near the rock wall shown here. The overlook is a great spot to use when covering the mouth of the alpha spawn building and bridge especially during play on the morning variation of Frontier, where the sun can help hide the glint of the sniper rifle. Pride Rock can be used to head glitch in both directions along vantages towards the garage and towards the control room and entrance to the Bravo building. Down. To the right of the bridge on Alpha side is a barricade that can be used to watch the bridge apron or the Bravo main entrance. This spot can be countered by one of the best head glitches on Frontier, a tiny sliver of space between the large tree at the mouth of the Bravo spawn building and crates. 
Another especially good head glitch can be found at the top of the steps to the concrete landing outside the control room. Players can use the V-shaped gap in the walls and the elevation change to attack the heavy spawn. Behind that spot, players can sometimes jump on the wall of the crane structure or fire from atop the blue container. In Bravo spawn, some players will use an elevated position on the cage. The cargo crates and shifts in elevation in the warehouse make for good spots as well. Although not technically a head glitch, the two lowland paths carved into the terrain on either side of the heavy spawn hill yield great sightlines for covering the spark spawn and the center of the bridge. Players fighting on the bridge can often be focused on enemies directly in front of them and will lose sight or ignore their flank. There's an electrical transformer or fuse panel on the left side of the alpha side of the bridge that has some foliage that can make shooting across the ravine towards the area above the drainage pipes successful. Inside the cargo hold, players can use the multiple ramps to cover several directions. Of course, a most common point of contention is along the bridge itself. There are barricades on both ends of the bridge that offer good cover, and the bend in the bridge itself can create opportunities for ambush. You can use the rail cars to help acquire a general sense of head level here as well. Love it. If you're still watching, please hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch where I stream just about nightly. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching. The gentleman is out.